So it's Sunday, just got back from car boot. Oh my God, it was rough. I thought lovely weather, proper beaming. So I thought it was gonna be packed, be a really good day, but it's Mother's Day. We got there, there was hardly anyone there. Loads and loads of people paid for early entry. So the competition was next level and the goods just wasn't there. So, this week's video is just going to be car boot haul, but there's hardly anything there. There's literally like five items. Um, I did do all right at auction, so that's getting delivered tomorrow on Monday. So I'll go through that and film that. And then I'll film just bits and bobs here and there and hopefully get a half decent video out for you. While I'm here, I'm going to quickly run through what I've got at car boot and show you the warehouse. It's the cleanest it has ever been. So at least that's something, I suppose. So I'll show you that now. So this is probably the cleanest and most organized the warehouse has ever been, ever. Just had a delivery of bubble wrap there. Even like the packing area. All the floor has been cleaned up. So it's nice and tidy. Don't know if you remember, I had two cast iron bathtubs. One of them sold and got collected on Friday, accepting an offer for 350 pound plus 200 pound postage. So 550 for a cast iron bathtub. Good money, would I get them again? Probably not because they take up a lot of room. I rearrange a warehouse daily as stuff is coming in and going out. And you can't really keep lugging them things about. They are so heavy, they're about 500 kilo. So they just sat there and it was uh, come out to here. It, they're just awkward. So yeah, I probably won't do it again unless it was real cheap or there's someone special. This here, this is just two spare um, like bookshelves, which are getting made into one massive uh, shelf. So I can fit double the amount of records on. They were, they got wet, so they're just drying out. They're gonna get sanded down um, and remade. So these shelves here are like double thickness. Uh, they get repainted and everything, sanded down, blah, blah, blah. Got some sky boxes there. Only to be informed that you can't sell sky boxes. Look at all that space. Lovely and tidy. I want these MLM machines to go. I had three of them originally. Just got two left. They go for big money, but you just got to wait for the right buyer. So that's annoying. I was going to do a little print out of it and pull it up in the shop, but my printer has decided it doesn't want to print anything to do with the M&M machines. Don't understand. It prints absolutely everything. But once I try and print the M&M machines, it just point blank refuses. That there is a rug believe it or not, massive, so 15 foot. But yeah, all this side is all tidied. I've put a shoe rack there now. If you remember, I had loads of uh, furniture here and that's all gone. I've made one shoe rack taller. And I won't go down every aisle, but as you can see, they're all clean and tidy. And we've started condensing the shelves. So, seeing as I ain't got much stock coming in at the minute, we're probably just going to concentrate on doing stuff behind the scenes. For example, condensing the shelves. So everything will just get condensed down and put into tubs. And then I'm going to probably label a shelf so I can just ram the shelf and I'll know exactly what shelf it's on. 
but yeah condensed the shelf there look it's gone so yeah let me show you what i got from the car boot one good thing that came out of today is i managed to get a load of boxes from my old work so i'll get all these out and then i will show you what i got from the car boot boxes are unloaded car boot stuff unloaded see what i mean absolutely not worth going so got that from the car boot it's a lorry door filler fairground um paid 50 quid for that i'm gonna pull it in the shop for 200 or 225 golf balls now i paid 150 a bag i'll sell them for 14 or 15 pound vintage reclaimed door hinges they are paid a pound each so two pound i'll probably get 15 20 quid umbrella stand in the shape of a umbrella i paid five pound i'm gonna pull it in the shop and ask 20. stephen king book paid 50p i'm gonna pull it in the shop for two quid a gopro karma drone that wasn't from the car boot that was actually a private sale um i paid 50 pound for that these here uh the shell cartridges from world war one you turn them up the other way and they're open so you people can use them as vases now there was a, a fourth one and it was trench art it was all carved in it but it took too long to decide and a woman come and bought it right in front of me now i don't like to be one of them people so excuse me i was looking at that so i just like i wasn't holding it it was on the table i was just stood next to it thinking so she bought that and then i was we had to renegotiate a new deal for these and then another woman come up and was on about buying these as well so um i just then had to stop thinking and just take it so i paid what i paid 55 for the three of these now i'll probably put that one in the shop for 30 that one in the shop for 30 this one in the shop for 75 maybe a bit more or a bit less now this is a mini disc sony stack system it's got the speakers and everything in there he assured me it worked nine times out of ten they're lying so spares or repairs i'll probably get 50 if it's working 75 sometimes you've just got to take the risk in the hope they are telling the truth now i get these staffordshire dogs in quite often and they sell really well for strong money i've never seen them made into brass lamps so as long as they're working i'll pay 20 pound for the pair as long as they're working i'm gonna hope to achieve like 75 pound for the pair if they're not working i may just take the dogs off and sell them on their own for 50. so i'll still make money regardless but and i don't know if i'm going to put them on ebay or in the shop if i put them in the shop i need to cut the plug off or get it part tested i paid three pound for this again he assured me it was working no he didn't he said he assumed it was working i've looked at the battery compartment it looks all right so might get 15 20 pound for that but yeah considering i had to drive from plymouth all the way to exeter <laughs> and this is all i've got so ignore the the drum there so i've got the book this here that's two i've got that as one lock so one item two item three item four item five item six seven nine items that is horrendous the worst i've ever done in all the years i've been doing this so i'll show you tomorrow what i get at the auction so it's monday morning i've come in i've picked some stuff out to list today there's not much here because i've got through my death pile and 
Car boot wasn't great, as you already know. And I'm waiting on an auction delivery. So until then, this is all I've got to list. So there's four rugs, two Mexican cabinets. I'm going to do them as a pair. Just a little like storage suitcase, but it's a weird shape. <laughs> what I mean by that, oh, you can't really see it. See how it's uh, not quite straight. And then a set of two small vintage suitcases, a pair of reclaimed door hinges. These I'm going to look into because apparently just the empty sleeves can be worth money on the old gramophone um, records. So I'm going to look into that to see if that is worth anything. Then we got the GoPro Karma drone that will get listed. Got this from Car Boot yesterday. It's a Sony mini disc player with its speakers in there. So I'm going to test that, list that. Then we got this bag of champion hats, brand new with tags. Got them from Car Boot, Staffordshire dogs, but look, but they've been made into brass lamps. So I'm going to test them and sell them. Job lot of just vintage advertising tins. A job lot of comics. This Timex watch display cabinet. Gonna get that listed. And yeah, I just found, just noticed this actually. So that can be a listing. And then, Some of them IKEA anti-slip mats. So that is it. And now I'll show you what sold over the weekend. So this is weekend sales. I won't remember the prices of everything, so I'll put screenshots on the screen for you to see. That is just a tuner box, and I believe that went for 30. Then we have this nest of tables in the design of like music notes not very nice tables to be fair but they still sold for 45 this vintage antique no vintage teak mirror that was up for 90 it sold on an offer for 70. this casio boxed keyboard that sold for 50. I've had that in stock for probably years. Then we have this Onkyo, or Onkyo, I don't know how you pronounce it, amp. That sold for 40. Then we have this Baby Dean Ann, uh, or water boiler, or is a gas powered one. That went for 50. Another water boiler there, that went for, I think, 30. These vintage brass ceiling lights, got them in the car boot a few weeks back for 20 quid for the lot. I decided to sell as a job lot, add them up for 100, accepted an offer for 80. Then underneath that, you can't really see it. It's just a load of vintage, um, I think, Mac no, Hot Wheels or Matchbox or both. Just track. There's no cars or anything to it. That, I think, went for 50. Then we got this electric hedge trimmer. Uh, it's been really well looked after. It's clean. It's fully working. Even the blade has all been oiled and everything. Um, that went... I listed that for 50 and I think I, it sold for 40. That only got listed the other day. Then we have this brass fender. That went for, I think it was up for 150. And it went on an offer maybe for 80 or 100. I can't quite remember. But again, there'll be screenshots. This is just a poster. That was up for 50 quid, believe it or not. It's only a poster. And uh, accepted an offer for 30 quid. 
this balloon statue thing the balloons hang in the air that went for 30 i think i got that from that massive job lot of pub stuff and uh, shoes when i bought out the shoe shop and the the pub underneath is just a tennis racket probably went for 10 pounds this clock that has been in stock for a long time i think that finally went for 15 then we got these done two tours of afghanistan they have um they went for 50 i believe paid eight pound seven or eight pound in a recent car boot then we got a sewing machine i think that went for 50. some playmobil again that has been in stock for a long time that went for maybe 10 pound we got staffordshire dogs and that that is also staffordshire i believe i just sold it as a job lot um i think for 70 50 or 70 pound for the set then we have this bike machine you put your bike on it so you can ride your push bike indoors it's missing parts it's been in stock for years and i accepted an offer just to get it gone for i think 15 pounds then we got a little pop-up tent nothing special i think that went for 20. then we have this just plain vintage heavy mirror you can see how long i've had it in stock because of all the dust dust anybody yes no dust now that went for i really can't remember 30 pound maybe then we got this little pin badge that went for eight i think pair of vans that went for 10 a power rangers toy i paid two pound a few weeks back at car boot tested and working that went for 35 on an offer these pictures here now i can't remember the pacific name but i'll put a screenshot up these are like um they're painted on the reverse so on the other side of the glass they're painted um don't it's a bit hard to show you really they're quite cool um they went for 20 pound for the pair that went for either seven or ten pound i'm staying away from plush because they just do not sell this here came in the job lot so i thought i listed it the other day and it sold already i think i list that on friday or thursday sold for 10 or 15. then we've got another one of these it's just a magic lantern um slide that went for 10 or even 12. then we got this pump clip that went for 10. Then we got this Bacardi ice scoop. That went for, or a crusher or something. That went for, what did that go for? Six pound on an offer. Um, this Enemy Unknown PS1 game, had that in stock for years. That went for 35 or 36. A box of brand new Jack Daniels glasses, but is missing two so there's only 10 in there that went for 20 or 30 pound um i think yeah i think that's it so that's all the sales i've also yeah cleaned up in here again so as you already know in here is just stuff i plan on putting in the shop there's a better look at that Like this stuff here is stuff that I've just, the auction house messed up my uh, bids and I ended up with a load of junk like that. So I'm going to try and sell that. If not, use it just to put records on in the shop. But either way, it's going in the shop for real cheap, like £5 or something. And that'll probably go in for 10 That'll probably go in for like 3 the cushion. 
Then we got this from the car boot yesterday. It's all in it. Well, <laughs> them four bits. So the umbrella holder, the three brass shells, and then this other stuff I already had, but that's going in to the shop. Add a little hoover up. And then I got these cool bits. So I'm going to, I've put them here because I'm going to test them. And I don't know whether to put them in the shop or on eBay. I'm going to see what they go for on eBay and then go from there. So that is it until the next clip. Something else I love doing is I listen to a lot of motivational speeches on YouTube. There's various different channels, but this is the main one I, I listen to is the Motivation Madness. So go on YouTube, give them a little uh, follow. So all the packing's done, all the labels there, look. So I've got Raw Mail, Yodo, all these here for every. And then I've got these ones going Parcel Force. While I'm here, got this coming the other day. Well, today. Bought it the other day, but it got delivered today. So hopefully, get some good money for that. Oh, thought that was a rip, Ben. Monday, and we just had an auction drop-off. So I'm going to give you a quick run-through of what I got, what I paid, and what I hope to get back off the top of my head without any research. I'm not going to put any pop-ups up because I'll simply... Can't be arsed. Right, so first up we have a Vax Agility Compact Vacuum Cleaner. I paid £14 and 16p. So that's it there. I'll get 50 to 75 on that. Then I have these here. You can't really see them. Let me get them out. So I've got three of these, they're pretty heavy. Now I paid £14.16 again, so I'll probably get £15 a piece for them in the shop. Maybe 20 so I think I've had something similar, not as fancy as that, and put them in for 20 each and they sold fast. Then we have a, a petrol hedge trimmer. Where is that? Strange. Can you see a petrol hedge trimmer? Oh, down here. We got a petrol hedge trimmer down there. That I paid £9.44. If they're working, 50 to 75 each. Then I paid £4.72 for that box there. So I'll probably get 20 quid for the, the bulk boys. And then there's a transducer in there. Um, I'll need to pull it out and have a look, but probably 20 quid for that. And then we have a Black & Decker strimmer which is here. So I paid £10.62 for that. I'll probably get 25 to 30. Then we have an electric weed wand or weed whacker. I uh, paid £10.62, again, 25 to 30. Um, a vintage trolley, £11.80. But they didn't even tell me that is missing the casters on the front, which means it also sits at an angle. So that's no good for that. We'll have to bin that one. Then we have another petrol hedge trimmer for £11.80. So the other one's down there. Again, 50 to 75. Then we have a tripod, £5.90 for this big tripod here. I've not sold that type before. So I'm 
but probably £20 in that. Then an electric Flymo draft car. Pay £12.98. Get 50 to 60 for that. Then we have another lawnmower, £11.80 paid. Again, 50 to 60 on that. Then we have two Venetian blinds paid £3.54. But I thought they were bigger ones and they're not both Venetian. Only one of them is. So that's probably a bust. Maybe a tenner for the pair. Um, an orange backpack, £3.54. Now, they didn't picture this. Like, this is literally how I've seen it. So, I don't know the brand. Tell it though. That's how it was pictured. So, I took a gamble in the hopes that it's branded. And it looks like it is. So, I'll do a bit of research on that. But like I said, £3.54 paid. Maybe £20. Two angle poised lamps. I paid £18.88 for the pair. Bit ropey condition. But I'm going to research them and hopefully get £50 a piece. Hopefully. Then oh, I've seen these. So down here is a load of them tanks. Uh, paid £7.8p eight I'll get £10 a piece on them Might put them in the shop Might put them on eBay Then paid £9.44 For the canvas bag And the binoculars Probably 20 to 30 on the binoculars, maybe five, 10 pounds for the bag and what's inside it. Then I paid 13 pound and no, 30 pound and 60p for this little setup here. So I'm gonna break it all down, test it, but hopefully there's some good money in that. So let's just say 50 for that. 30 for the CD player, the speakers, maybe 15, 20. Then, so there's a silver machine there, one there, and one here. I'm not going to look through and find the exact one, but I paid £11.80 for one, and I'll get £50. Then we got this bed warming pan. Now, unless they're really fancy, they're not really worth selling, but I'll buy them cheap. So £5.90 and I'll just scrap that in. A collection of stamps. Every now and again, I'll just win a load for uh, real cheap. So £3.54. And I'll just put them in with my stamp bundle. And when I've got a massive bundle of stamps, I'll do a big auction. Because I don't know nothing about stamps. Um... Anniversary clock, looks like quite a nice one that, paid £4.72, 30 to 50 some of them can fetch hundreds, but I very much doubt I've got one of them, and then £3.54 for this cookie jar, must be a cookie jar for a dwarf, you can fit like one hobnob in that, but again, you're just running off a, a picture, so it's hard to judge how big it is. If it was bigger, I'd probably get like £15, maybe 20 in the shop. But as it's tiny, probably like I'll, I'll be lucky to get a tanner for that. And then these here are Lilliput Lane houses. Some of these can go for like £20 if you've got the uh, certificate in the box, like £30 for some. But again, £3.54, so let's, if I just get a tenner each, that's £30 there. And then we've got, so £10.62 for this. But I like this. It's like a fancy display cabinet. So it's someone's used a, um, 
the gold gilt or gold gilded picture frame and then turned it into a uh, storage box so i paid i did just say uh 10 pounds 62 i'll probably get 50 to 75 for that i don't know whether to put that in the shop or on ebay if i put it in the shop i'll probably get like 30 or 40 but there's no effort when you put it in the shop Ah, here's something that's missing by the looks of it. So, yeah, I had a case vintage Amstrad. I paid £59, but it doesn't seem to be here. Then we have a... So this here again, from a picture, I thought it was slate. It's actually wood. I paid £14 for that probably get 30 quid if it was a slate one 50 to 75 then for seven pound and eight p got this barrel meter the only reason i've got it is because it's been made into um like a coat hanger so that'll look good in the shop then uh a load of records there but I paid £4.72, but you know what I'll do with them. I'll just bulk them, sell them. And then underneath is a record player, paid £9.44. Now, them rec that style record player there in them boxes, even broken, you can get 50 quid from. Then £10.62 for this Formica table. They're nothing special, but they sell and they sell well. So I'll probably get 100 to 150 quid just for that table alone. Then in here is a load of vases. Paid £4.72, but I got it just because this was in it. Now I'm going to put this in the shop probably. Maybe. Who knows? If anyone can help me out with this. Obviously, I'm going to do my research anyway. But, what did I say I paid for that? £4.72 for the... For all of it. But obviously, that stuff there just looks like junk. So, my money is in this. Minimum, 20 quid. But I'm hoping it could be like 30 to 50. Then, got a wine table, £5.90. I sell them all day long for bare minimum 40 quid. Some of them can go for like up to 100 quid. And then what number is it? Then we got this one. Now again, it was a picture. So I thought it was like this big, the bigger ones. Paid 11 pound 80. If it was the big one, I could get 50 to 100. This is small. Maybe 30 or 40. Oh, it's modern as well. Yeah, 30 or 40 if it works. Um, Two sewing machines. £18.34. 18, no. £21.24p. Got there in the end. Paid for two sewing machines. Probably get like 50 quid a piece. Then, that's, there's another trolley missing. Ah, oh, this trolley here is a dolly and you put furniture on it. I bought that just to um use myself. Then we got these two fancy ceiling lights. It's got glass globes and everything on it. You can't really see it in the box. I ain't gonna sell it up, but it looks banging. Believe me, £5.90 paid for that and I'll probably get £75 or more. Then two old Bibles. I'd get like 30 to £50 each for these Bibles, regardless of condition. Paid £11.80 for this. A vintage record player. There must be stuff somewhere else because... This is an, another item I can't find. 
Then we paid £37.76p for that. Working or not, get 200, 250 quid for that. If it's working, three to 400. Two Victorian glazed and framed prints. Again, I can't find them. Um, tabletop freezer, £11.80 paid, probably £50 for that. And that, I believe, is everything from the auction. So it's Tuesday, just got back from the auction house to place, so to do uh, auction viewing and to place my pre-bid so I don't have to attend in person tomorrow. I'll put some clips up after this video. I've picked out today's stuff to get listed. So hopefully we can get through all this today. So it's sewing machines, some toy tank models, Furniture, clocks, radios, you name it, is here. A right little mixture of stuff. So I'm going to get the packing done, get this listed, and I'll probably end the video shortly. Little baby Stacy, look. <laughs> Just picking some orders, ready to pack. That sold for on an offer for twenty six pound. It's just a projector stand. We use the, the keyword plant stand and it seems to help sell them. Then a random selection of 50 records for $22.99. This is just a latex um, low vest, corset vest. corset vest. That went for seven, I think. I'll put screenshots up. Then we have this uh, Goodman's tape deck. I think that went for 20. Then we have a Panasonic subwoofer. That went for 20 as well, I think. I think that's collection. Then we sold this little golf ball training thing. That went on an offer for eight quid. A Miranda flash. That went for seven. Some skateboard wheels went for seven. Little toy truck. That went for five or six. A little pump clip, probably went for about eight pound maybe. Leftover Barbary trench coat, went on an offer for 60 just to shift it. Uh, privacy screen, I've upped my promotion on these just to shift them. And now they're finally selling. I've had these in stock for so long. Anyway, that went for 15. Then we just sold another set of 50 records for $22.99. And then we sold this German police hat for 50. And last up, we have two of these privacy screens going to one person, 30 quid for the two. And then someone else bought one for 15 quid. That is all the packing done for Tuesday. 
Tuesday dinner time. Just had the old uh, Toby Carvery. Don't know if you can see it there. Taking my mum out for a uh, Mother's Day Carvery. Couldn't come on Sunday because she was working and I was busy as well. So Tuesday dinner time, nice little carvery and then get back to work. <laughs> Does anybody know how to get this to pair with the controller? It all turns on and everything, it just won't pair up. I've watched a YouTube video and that didn't even work. So any help would be much appreciated. So we're just finishing up for the day now on Tuesday. I'm going to put a little screen recording up showing you what was listed today. And I'm going to end the video there because I need to get to work and start working properly instead of caring about this video. Oh yeah. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to end the video with a little clip from my sponsor showing you where I buy the boxes from as per usual. So keep watching if you want to see that and get the discount codes. I just want to say a big thanks to SW Resources, my cardboard box supplier, for sponsoring these videos. So these are the boxes they supplied me with. These are maximum medium parcel size for Royal Mail and Parcel Force. They're very good quality, used boxes, double walled, thick, strong. I use them myself. I've got another stack over there. They're very good, I love them. I'd highly recommend them. And on their website, which I will link down below in the description, they've also do um, many other sizes. And uh, I think, I believe they even do brand new boxes as well. So get yourself on over to the website, which I'll link down below and grab some boxes. And as you can see, they are double walled, nice and strong. And if you use my discount code Recovered Riches 5 all in capital letters for £5 off all products or Recovered Riches 10 all in capital letters for £10 off all products and Recovered Riches 15 right there for £15 off all products I will link everything you need down below that will be the, a link to his website and also the discount codes.